Hey everybody, it's David Dale Learning So I'm going to be doing a install of Resolve 16, but I want to keep Resolve 15. I found an excellent um, tutorial online by Theo, and he had thanked somebody previous. So I'm just going to hit play and let him thank the other person. Now, first of all, credit where credit is due. I got this idea from the Learn DaVinci Resolve training channel. So go check them out, and you'll give their video a like. Uh, you know, say, hey, Theo sent us here. Thanks for doing that. It's so definitely give Theo a like and uh, <laughs> say thanks because he did it for the PC. And I believe the other person from Learn, Learn Da Vinci Resolve was doing it for the uh, Apple or Mac. So what I'm going to be doing is Theo did it, but he didn't do it for the first time. You know, when you do a, like a tutorial online, you practice once and then you go back and you redo it. Well, when he redid it, all the error messages and stuff like that were gone. So I figured, what the heck, I'm gonna do this and follow Theo's instructions pretty much exactly. I might deviate on the order slightly, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And so you can see the whole entire process. So the first thing I'm gonna do in Resolve 15 is click on this button right here. Um, local database, there's different types of database, I'm not gonna get into that, but I usually just use local. It works fine, it's been working great for years. And Theo talks about clicking this backup button. Um, and then putting it in a location, I'm just going to put it on, um, I'll put it on S drive. That's my scratch drive. And it's gonna say local database, resolve uh, disk database. I'm gonna click save. Are you sure you would like to back up the local database? Please note this operation might take some time depending on the size of your database. I'm gonna say go ahead. And I don't see any visual indication that it's done yet. Um, or how long it takes. Um, but let me, uh, I've got two windows. I've got this window and this window, but yeah, I don't see where it's located. So I'm gonna go to S drive and I can see it's right here, And it, but it says size is zero. So maybe it's still working. Oh, there we go. Uh, database came back, so <clears throat> I don't know exactly how long that took, maybe like 45 seconds, but it finally popped up. So I guess key thing here is don't be afraid that nothing happened. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna go over here and hit refresh. F5, I believe, and watch the size. Oh, there it is, the size is a lot bigger now. Okay, so we know that the database has been backed up. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to Blackmagic Support, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, download the latest version. I own the studio version. Um, so I'm going to do that one. If you're uh, just regular free version, you would download this one. So I'm going to download for Windows. And it, you don't have to fill all this stuff out. You see where it says download only? Just click on that. <laughs> it took me a long time to figure that one out after many years of <laughs> downloading new versions. I'm going to click Save. Now before I actually install 16 Beta, I'm now going to do the step that uh, Theo talked about, which is going to C Drive and program files and black magic or black magic design and then resolve and then i'm going to take davinci resolve and i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste and he said i might need a yep there's my permission uh for administrator i just say continue i should just say davinci resolve slash copy when it's done okay there we go and just like uh, Theo, I'm just going to call this um, 15. Um, I say OK. And before I go anywhere while I'm here, um, I'm just going to create a shortcut. He said go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to just take this and I'm going to uh, either pin to start, pin to taskbar, um, put on the desktop. Um, let's just do that. Create shortcut. And. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And, um, actually, I'll go ahead and close this. And the only thing on my desktop is right here. My other version here, hold on, let me just get this to say 15. And my other version is actually down here that you can see on the uh, taskbar. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and install 16. Uh, 16.b1 is looks like the what I've got here. I'll go ahead and extract it. And like Theo talked about, you guys are probably, if you're doing this, you're pretty confident in what you're doing. Um, you probably have installed Resolve 
many times like I have. <laughs> they update it almost seems like every month and a half or two months. So I might just zip through this part of it. Actually, before I do, I'm gonna actually shut down this version of 15 while 16 is getting installed. All right, it's not doing anything. So I think I kind of screwed something up because I had DaVinci Resolve running because I've got a spinning beach ball right now. It's not doing anything. All right, I was just about to go to the task manager and close that, but it finally closed itself, but I don't, oh, here we go. There's the message I was looking for. It took about a minute for it to <laughs> uh, find itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes. Um, there's a lot of, Theo didn't talk about this, but there's a lot of things that you can um, install, but I don't need this type of database because I use the local database type and I don't need any sort of audio accelerator utility or Fairlight utility. All I need is Resolve 16. So I'll go ahead and click install. Next, accept. It's gonna put in that same location, install but it's putting it into the location right next to the one that I called 15. All right, cool. Clo uh, click on finish. Say okay. Um, so we've got 15. I'm gonna put this one on the taskbar. And then I'm gonna throw these out. So when I wanna use the old 15, it's right here. And when I wanna use the new 16, I'll use it from down here like I normally do. So let's go ahead and open up. And this is the part where Theo, you weren't able to see what Theo was talking about. So this is the first time I'm gonna actually see it. Uh, it's gonna say something, there's gonna be an error or say, hey, upgrade your database. And But if you do, you can never go back. All right, now here's the message that Theo didn't show us. Would you like to upgrade your database, local database? You cannot undo this action. It is recommended that, you're, that you back up your existing database before proceeding. I already did, so, and you can see there's a little green arrow with partial dots around it. So I'm gonna click upgrade. I have no idea how long this is gonna take. It's been a while since I went from like, what was it, Resolve 13 to Resolve 15? I can't remember, here we go. Upgrade. And there, boy, that only took a few seconds. And these are all my old projects. Um, I'm at a good stopping point because a lot of these, I've, I just finished two pro major projects and I am, these I don't really care about too much. So I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and open up this one called Render Test. So I'm opening up 16 Project Render Test. And uh, let's see here, there's the cut menu that you see down here, um, cut page. Uh, there's the media page, which looks pretty similar, uh, not much different than before. There's a new cut page, which is brand new. Uh, there's the new edit page, or not new edit page, but uh, it looks pretty similar. In fact, it kept the same cache, cache, because this one right here, I'll hit play. That one, this clip right here, I had a cache and it kept the cache because um, I, I can't play this back in real time because it's got so many nodes on it. Um, they said that the Fusion uh, playback is much faster. Actually, I could probably test that here in a minute. Um, color, yeah, you can see all the nodes looks pretty similar. Fairlight looks, yeah, it looks actually a little bit different. Um, they've got some new things going on here, which is kind of fun. And deliver, one of the things I wanted to look at is, yeah, it's got H.265. Um, yeah, so everything's looking pretty good. One of the things I'll probably have to look at uh, under preferences under the GPU is this right here. I've heard other people when you have it on auto or something like that, that your uh, card can fill up the memory. So I have a GTX 1080 Ti. And I'm hearing like stories that uh, things are filling up. The memory is filling up too quickly, the VRAM, um, and you might have to change this. So I'm gonna have to look at that a little bit later. All right, so we know that 16 works. Um, I'm gonna hit projects. I can go around to any of my different projects that I want to. Um, everything looks good, local database, all that stuff looks great. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and close this down and we'll open up 15, which is right here. And 
I'm not feeling too good right now because I don't see anything. I double clicked. Nothing's happening. Not feeling too confident right now. Right, let's try it again. I'm going to hit enter. I can see the the ball spinning. Oh, there it goes. Um, so I'm getting a, a message saying Windows Defender. I've seen this before and you just say allow access. Um, this DP decoder dot executable. Uh, I'm just going to say allow access to all of these. I've done this before in the past and it was fine. I think it's because it's in a new location. Um, that's my guess. All right, so local database is incompatible. So this is where Theo talked about going and clicking this restore. And remember, I sort, stored this on my scratch drive. And sure enough, there it is. I'm going to say open. All right, so we'll give it a name. And I think Theo called it something like resolve. Ah, won't do capitalization. That's odd. Resolve 15. I'll call it database. Oh, I don't know why I typed 12, 15. Um, and then in terms of location, like just like Theo did, he created one on C drive um, and he called it, he didn't call it resolve 15 database, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select folder. So it's going to be resolve 15 database and it'll be in C drive, the root resolve 15 database. Um, connect, create, disk. Yeah, I'm just using the regular type of disk. I don't think I need a thumbnail. And I'm just going to hit create and see what happens. Are you sure you'd like to restore your database from local database? Resolve disk database 200 meg. Please note this operation might take some time depending on the size of your database. It's not that big of a database, although I got some other stuff that's hidden in a separate folder, but here we go. Started at 16.22. Oh, there we go. That took all of maybe five seconds. Say okay. And look at that. All right. Looks like resolve 15. Um, let's go to render test. All right. Some things came up that weren't up before, and things look kind of different. You know what? I bet you I've lost a lot of my... Um, Theo didn't talk about this, but I'm guessing I've lost a lot of my user preferences because now it thinks I'm starting from a brand new project, perhaps. Because um, things look different size-wise. There's a lot of things that look a bit different. This is interesting. Um, in fact, the tabs look different. Uh, just, the, just the sizing of everything looks different. Just the um, how big everything is. And this has something to do with, I'm running a very large monitor and um, I'm running it at a high, that's interesting. There's no clips here, but you can see all the different tracks. So I think this looks okay. Um, just the way my scaling is going on because I'm using like a 5K monitor. And before it wasn't handling it very well, but now it's actually looking pretty good. So it's almost like it fixed itself. This is kind of interesting. And just to make doubly sure, if I go to about, you can see I'm on 15.3.1, which was the latest version of 15. But you can see the cache is being pulled from the exact same location, because I can see this blue bar over this one clip that I talked about before. Although, playback speed. Playback speed's not doing so well. Let me try that again. Maybe there's just some render tests. Yep, it all seems fine. It's just that first clip. These are all real problematic um, things to um, render. So that's why I was running a lot of different rendering tests. But some of these things don't look the way I last left them in terms of the workspace. Trying to open 16. Oh, there it goes. It didn't go on the first time. It seems like when you go from 15 to 16 or back 16 back to 15, 
it's almost like you have to wait a few minutes. Um, I'd say about a minute and a half because I don't know, the computer is confused or something, but it's, it takes a long time for it to load. You might double click on it and nothing happens. Um, I wonder if I can reshape this. But basically what I'm trying to do here is go back to this one particular test and try to get a gauge on sizing. And sure enough, this one, I think I was on this frame. Um, this definitely looks smaller. 16, everything looks much smaller in terms of text where things are placed, which is not a bad thing in terms of having more real estate for the actual image. Uh, the UI seems to be more condensed compared to 15, and that probably has to do with the workspace. Um, maybe something's new uh, here, and I, I'll just have to look at it and try to figure out what's going on um, in terms of the uh, scaling. So that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, everything works. Um, again, there's some really cool tools uh, other people have covered, things that I haven't even tried yet. For instance, like this right here, which I think is awesome, where you can go and say, I wanna just adjust, see the output. Um, so if, as you can see, I've already moved this. Yeah, I guess I have. Um, this one of her, I made a window around her. And you can see if I bring that up around her, this updates in real time, which is really cool. All right, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.